A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Outlaws roam the new territory and gun law rule the range in the early days of the western United States. It was not until the masked rider of the plains started his great fight for justice that the honest ranchers found peace and security in their new homes. Without thought of reward, the Lone Ranger devoted his life to the establishment of law and order on the frontier, and the memory of his deeds will remain as long as the memory of the early West itself. Return with us now, those thrilling days of yesteryear, when adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come along, Silver! We're heading for the mission! Silver's waiting for us there! Hail, Silver! Away! The padre of the mission had long been a close friend of the Lone Ranger and had helped him on several occasions. As our story opens, the two men are talking in the little patio near the chapel, and some of the people in town were surprised when you went there to help serve justice, Padre. Someday, my friend, and I hope it may be soon, the people of Pecos will build a church and let one of us go there and live among them. I hope so. There's such a need for it. If only there could be more like you to ride and fight in the name of justice. I pray for the time when there will no longer be any need of fighting. But you have returned. Forgive me for not asking sooner. But can I be of service? You remember I came before to ask about the murder of a man named Slocum? I remember. Before Carlos, who knew part of the plans for Slocum's murder, was executed for another crime, he talked to you. At great length. He wanted to make his peace. I told Carlos there were things he must do. Among them was to write a signed confession, telling what he knew about the murder of Senor Slocum. And he gave you that signed confession? He did. He told me to use it. If the time came when it would save another person from being punished for the crime. That's exactly it. Sam Slocum was thought to have taken his own life. That was a false accusation. He was considered a murderer. But my friend, that matter is closed. I showed you what Carlos left for me to show. Proof that Senor Slocum was killed by another. That, with the facts you knew, found the real murderer. And I understand he is now in prison. Is not the matter closed? I went with you to Pecos. My word was believed. Padre, I want to take that note to Pecos with me. For the law to keep? No. There are a few people there who didn't understand the facts. They didn't know that Carlos had given you that written and signed message. They think you violated a confidence. You wish to do this for me? Yes, Padre. I appreciate it, amigo, but I do not wish it so. You don't want me to show these people the proof that you did only what Carlos asked you to do? No. Those who know and understand me and my teachings would know the truth and would want no proof or explanation. They would have implicit faith in me, and they would know that any one of my order would gladly choose death in preference to the violation of the seal of confession. You mind if I explain to some of those people? Explain, my friend, if you wish to do so. They will believe you. You need not take proof. 
but wait. I am glad to have you come here. Look, you see that man who comes from the chapel? Yes. I want you to know him, my friend. His name is Lawson. He is called Arizona. Lawson? Yes. He is a hunter, a good man, but one who rides alone. He might sometime need a friend. If he's your friend, you know he can count on me. And he could have no better friend than you. But come, let me introduce you. After the Lone Ranger left the mission, he joined Tonto. And as the two rode, he spoke about the young bounty hunter he had met. He was a likable fellow, Tonto. Him called Arizona. That's right, he's from Arizona. Well, that's what he calls himself. Him not stay in one place long. No, he's restless. He travels around with his dog, following the tracks of wolves. Bringing one down now and then and collecting the bounty for it. Oh. The Padre thought he might be of help to us from time to time. Isn't that good? He gets around a lot and learns a lot about outlaws and crooked lawmen. Ah. Uh, Tonto thinks that... What is it, Tonto? You here? Sounds like the stage for Pecos. It come plenty fast. Yes, faster than the safe of the horses on this sort of ground. Must be just around the bend there. Ah. There it is, Tonto. You look. Those horses are out of control. Driver not got rain. Come on, Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. Get on this side, Tonto. I'll circle to the far side. Get him off the shelf. Get a hold of them, stranger. Drop them horses before the stage gets over. Hold back, you. No. Steady there, steady, boy. Lone Ranger and Tonto raced alongside the six plunging, terror-stricken horses. The stage driver, helpless, had a hard time hanging onto the rocking, shaking coach. Working together, the masked man and his Indian friend ranged alongside the leading pair, gripped the reins by leaning far out of their saddles, and by sheer strength pulled the horses to a stop. Whoa! Whoa! Steady, fella! Steady, boy! 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 Steady, 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 there you are, driver. It's lucky your stage didn't tip. Sure as shooting is a miracle, mister. Here are your reins. Uh, thanks. I don't think any of the gear is broken, but you'd better examine it. I... Have you been wounded? Oh, just winged. I ain't hurt serious. But I reckon my passenger is killed. Well, what happened? Tonto, look inside and see if you can help the passenger. Uh, Tonto, look. Got shot up a few miles back. I don't know who the critter was. He had his face covered. Uh, like you. Land sakes, I just noted that mask. Tell me some more. Now, look at here. There ain't nothing worth taking. I all the highwaymen I could tolerate for one day. Take it easy. But, but that mask... I... I'm not going to try and rob you. You did give me a helping hand. I can't forget that. Color inside. Him dead. Yes, huh? Mm. Gosh, that's what I was afraid of. His missus is going to be hit awful hard about this. Tonto, have a look at the driver's wound. Huh? I'll get down from here, Redskin. You needn't climb up. Here to look at my wound. It ain't nothing. Did one man do the job? Yeah. Ouch! Hey, that redskin, let me be. Tonto, look at wound. Did he steal anything? No, he, he didn't even search us. Just stopped the stage and throwed lead into the banker, and when I tried to say something, he shot me. Where did this happen? Just a few miles back. You can see the place all right. The ground is pretty bad marked up from the hoofs. Would you recognize the horse or the clothing of the man? Shucks, nine men out and ten around Pecos has the same sort of outfit. Mm, not bad. All right, Tonto. Get back to the saddle now. Now, can't I get on, stranger? I gotta get to town. I gotta report this to the sheriff. And I reckon I'll have to bust the tough news to poor Miss Whipple. She's the banker's wife. Go ahead, driver. He ain't gonna rob me? I'm not a robber. Go on. Yes, sir. Get along there. Get... Well, it seems there is still a killer at large near Pecos. Isn't that right? Wait, that fellow Arizona. What about him? I wonder if he might have seen anything. He was heading away from the mission. He might have passed the killer. Now, do you ride out that way and see what you can learn from the tracks? I'm going to head into Pecos and see what develops there when the driver reports that murder. I'll Silver Howard! In Pecos, a little later that same day, the widow of the banker was with the sheriff, and... It's hard, Sheriff. Mighty hard. Whipple was as fine a man as ever lived. I know, Mrs. Whipple. Helped them as needed it and was deserving of it. And all as read and studied papers from the East so as he could give the men around here free advice and lent most all his personal cash to the government for the war. Oh, why did it have to be him? You gave me the names of three men, Matilda. It's one of them three. It's got to be. There ain't no one else that'd want to kill him. It was a spite murder. That's what it was. 
Jim weren't killed for his money. He didn't have none on him that was worth the taking. And Leif says they didn't even search him. He was killed for spite. We'll find the snake that done it, Matilde, and string him from the highest tree in Pecos. It's one of them three. I know it is. I sent men out to look over the scene and try and get a clue. It, it won't bring Jim back, but I'll feel a sight better to see the killer punished for it. The three you mentioned will be here before long. I let word go out I wanted to speak to them. If it ain't Sam Smead or Wendy Hoagland, it's got to be Ben Hawkins. I'd stake my life on it. Here, I hear you don't see me. Yes, I do, Smead. Sit down there. Uh, howdy, Miss Wilbur. I'm uh, right sorry about the banker. That ain't true, Sam Smead. Huh? You ain't a bit sorry. You're laughing in your sleeve about it. You had it in for Jim Whipple ever since he organized the men to beat you when you tried to get elected sheriff. You don't think I done it? I don't know yet. Can you prove any alibi? Gosh, no, Sheriff. I was on the ranch for the word time you wanted to see me. Howdy, Sheriff. Come in, Ben. I am in. Here's Wendy. Uh, hello. Ben, you had it in for Whipple ever since he wouldn't let you marry his daughter. Have I? You know it, Ben. You told him then that someday he'd be sorry. And you, Wendy. Whipple foreclosed the mortgage on your place. Yeah, sure. What about it? Where was you around noon? Me? Gosh, Sheriff. I reckoned home. Can you prove that? Gosh, no. I, I was there alone. And where was you, Ben? Why should I tell? Because one of you three shot and killed Jim Whipple. What? What? I didn't even know he was dead. I suppose you lie and say you're sorry. Well, sure I'm sorry. I was sore at him when he wouldn't let Betsy marry me, but I got over that. He's dead? Yes. Oh, Leif, come in here. Look at these three critters. Yeah, I see him. How's your shoulder now, Leif? Oh, shucks, that ain't nothing, ma'am. Does any one of these look like he might have been the killer? Well, no. You I... can't pin that on me. <laughs> you're just guessing, Sheriff. Shut up. They're all about the size of the critter, and I reckon any one of them might have done it. On the other hand, I figure it's more likely the gent the boy just come into town with. Who? There's some sort of a pilgrim or a bounty hunter or something. Where is he? He's riding a bay horse, and he hasn't got much of a story. Anyone know him? Nope. He claims his name is Arizona, and that's all the name he'll give out. He's got a pretty bad dog with him. Mm. He's probably the killer. Well, why'd the boys bring him in? Well, they found the dog tracks around where the stage was stuck up. They seen where the dog had been tied, and it might have been while this Arizona fellow was shooting us up. They couldn't get no clues but them dog tracks, so they followed him and brought this hombre in. Where is he now? Well, they're fetching him. That ought to let us out. Not yet, it don't. This stranger ain't no reason that I know of to murder my husband. Keep that dog out There's a dog. That's him. Wait till I see. Keep that dog out in here. Chain it up somewhere. Come on, stranger. The sheriff will want a lot of talk with you. Well, mister, what's your name? Just call me Arizona, that's all, Sheriff. Did you murder the banker? Sheriff, that's just about the blamedest fool question I ever hear asked. Well, did you or didn't you? If I tell you I did kill a banker, you'd throw me in jail and have me hung. If I say I didn't, you'd throw me in jail anyhow, figuring I'm lying about it. What was you doing at the scene of the holdup? Looking around. Why was your dog tied up? That dog of mine's the best wolf hunter that ever lived. He helps me catch a wolf that I collect bounty on. And after he gets one, I have to rope the critter or he'd tear it to pieces before I could get the ears that I got to show to collect bounty. I ain't got a notion to lock all four of you up till we get to investigating this thing more complete. You all need to, Terry. Hey, what the Sam Take it easy. I can draw these guns fast if I have to. Where'd you come from, stranger? Arizona is the only man you'll have to lock up, Sheriff. Well, doggone, a friend is sure right. Yeah, hear what he says, Sheriff? Lock him up. I ain't used to taking the word of a masked man, mister, but you've been in Pecos before. You're the hombre rides a horse named Silver. Yes. But look here, Miss Tidy. Lock have the man up. Hold him for trial. You hear that, boys? Take Arizona to jail and lock him up. And keep a tight rope on that dog of his. Go on now. Get going. There you are, Mrs. Whipple. Reckon that'll clean up the murder of your husband. Sheriff, it taint right somehow. What do you mean, it taint right? I don't know. That good-looking young bounty hunter ain't no murderer. Not if I know faces. Well, if the Lone Ranger says it's so, it's got to be so. I'd a heap sooner believe one of them other three critters was guilty. And besides, Sheriff, huh? the masked man said to lock Arizona up. Sure. But he didn't say Arizona was the killer. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
how to continue our story. With Arizona, the young bounty hunter whom the Lone Ranger had met at the Spanish mission, locked in jail and held on suspicion of murder, the other three suspects felt greatly relieved. After the sheriff had retired that night, the Lone Ranger entered his home and shook him gently by the shoulder. Uh, well, what's the matter? What is this? Tate morning yet? Wake up, Sheriff. I want to talk to you. Why, the uh, who? Reaping sassafras, it's you. Yes. Great sakes alive. What are you doing here, mister? I want to speak to you, Sheriff. Get wide awake and pay attention to what I'm going to say. Yeah, I'm awake. I'm wide awake. What is it? You have Arizona locked in jail. Sure, it was you told me to do so. Arizona's not the murderer. He ain't? Then what in Sam Hill did you tell me to lock him up for? So we could find the real murderer. Huh? Tyler was in town while you were questioning those three men. He told me about them. Yeah? Which one of the three do you suspect? Shucks, any one of the three is likely to have been the killer. But you told me about Arizona. You told me to lock him up. Yes, Arizona did have his dog tied up near the scene of the murder. But that doesn't say that he's the killer. Well, who is? I don't know but yet. The, the dog was there and Arizona was there. Ain't that proof of Arizona dog? came here while I was looking around. Tonto and I stopped the stage, as Leif may have told you. Yeah, he mentioned that. Tonto came on to town and I went back to the scene of the murder. While I was there, Arizona came along. I'd met him just a little while before at the mission. Yeah? The two of us looked over the scene together, but we couldn't find a clue. Then we outlined a scheme. And Arizona come on here to get locked up? Yes. Well, doggone if that don't beat all. Mrs. Whipple said she didn't think he was a killer. She was right. If he hadn't been such a good-looking young critter, he'd likely be lynched by this time. I had a hunch there might be a lynching tonight, but nothing's turned up. If you'll take all the suspected men with you and question Arizona in the morning, I think it'll lead to the capture of the real killer. How's that? Arizona knows what to tell you. Just do what he asks. If you say so, mister. You'll see how it'll work out. And, Sheriff, there's something else I want to tell you. Yeah? Don't be surprised at anything that happens in the morning while you're questioning Arizona. It's going to be right neat to see you question him, Sheriff. I thought you might enjoy it, Ben. How about you, Wendy? Sure. Uh, there's Sam. We let him in on it, too. Hi, Sam. Yeah? Come on. Come on with us. Where are you going? Going to the jail. We're going to question Arizona and see if we can't make him confess to the murder of Banker Whipple. Yeah, that suits me. Right down the ground. The more we have there to see the questioning, the more nervous it's likely to make Arizona. Yeah. For a while, I thought you was going to frame me for that murder, Sheriff. I won't frame no man. But I'll find the one that done it. Hope you got your keys to the jail. I never travel without them. That sure is a big dog, Arizona owns. Yep. If we hang him, I'm going to sort of adopt the critter. It's a first-rate dog. Quiet there, boy. Quiet down. Morning, Sheriff. Arizona, I got some things to speak to you about. I figured you might have. But you needn't think I'm going to admit I killed that man in that stagecoach. You didn't, huh? No, and if you'll give me half a chance, I can find the one that done it. How is that? Uh, wait a minute, I'll open up the cell. Then you can come out and talk. All right, come on. Thanks, Sheriff. Now, what's this about you finding the one that done it? We seen it. We? Meaning who? Me and my dog. You seen it, huh? Yep. The way that killer had his face covered up might fool a man, but it wouldn't fool no dog. That dog seen the murder. <laughs> It's too bad dogs can't talk. That's a likely story, Arizona. <laughs> Maybe if we ask the dog, he'll tell us which one down the chute. <laughs> you gents can laugh, but that dog's powerful smart. Arizona, I'm going to give you a chance to confess the murder. You confess it, and you might get away with life in jail. If you don't confess it, we're going to hang you. Whether I done it or not, you're going to hang me, huh? I reckon you done it all right. The mask man said to lock you up. He ought to know. Sheriff, you know where that killing took place, don't you? Yeah, what about it? You go to that place, then look to the south about 200 yards or so, and you'll see an old dead tree. Oh, yeah? If you go to that tree, I got a notion you'll find your killer. What's he doing there? Can't tell you right now what he's doing. Maybe he's sitting waiting to confess, eh? <laughs> I ain't saying he's there right now, but if you go there, you'll get the clue that'll find him. I promise you that. That's plumb crazy. No, nope, taint. He had a spare horse tethered by that tree. The ground there is soft enough to see the hoof prints. Might be worth a trip out there just to satisfy my curiosity. I'd sure admire to see you go. Oh, hey, somebody shot him. He jumped through that window. I seen the gunfire. Get around outside of the place. He's around and back of the jail. Don't let him get away. It was the masked man. There he goes. That's him. No of them shooting irons, you blame fools. You can't drill a man riding at that speed. Why'd he shoot Arizona? I wonder what that masked hombre has again, Arizona. 
Sure was determined to see him killed. He seen there was a chance of him getting out of this murder charge. He just drilled him through the window. Yes, this thing is getting complicated. Maybe me help. Where'd you come from, Redskin? What do you mean, help? What's that you say? Me help you. Shush that dog up. Quiet, Flash. Get quiet. Hey, you. Yeah? Take that dog away from here and lock him up. Me go. Look at feller inside. Yeah, go ahead, Injun. See how bad he's hurt. Tonto think maybe him dead. You wait here. Well, we'll wait here till you come out. Not good. While the sheriff and the three men waited for Tonto outside the jail, they watched the masked rider disappearing in the distance astride a snow-white horse. Then Tonto came out and said, You not help him now. Can't help him, huh? No. Well, boys, I tell you what I'm going to do. What's that, Sheriff? I'm going to take a posse and go to that tree Arizona spoke of. I'm just curious enough to investigate and see what he was talking about yeah, there. Ah, shucks, won't be anything there. Like as not Arizona was the killer, but just the same. <laughs> he, he sure must have been the killer. You boys get your horses and come along with me. We'll ride out the stage trail to where the holdup took place and then head for the tree and see what we can find there. Get Leaf the driver to go along with us and a couple other boys. Time to go, too. Good enough, Injun. You can go along if you want to. If anyone else wants to go, come on along. Get your horses and let's start traveling. But, Sheriff, what about taking up the trail of that mask rider? Oh, one thing at a time. If he killed the prisoner, we gotta get him. Uh, who's giving orders around here, anyhow? Yeah, you are. Them orders is downright confusion. You let that stranger shoot down the prisoner. If <laughs> folks had wanted you for Sheriff, they'd have voted that way. Now shut up and come along. <laughs> After racing away from the jail, the Lone Ranger circled back to where the big wolf hunting dog was tied. The sheriff and his posse had ridden out along the stage trail, and when they arrived at the spot Arizona had described, they left the trail and headed for an old dead tree some hundred yards away. I'm staking a lot on what you tell me, Tonto. Isn't that good? Are you sure about Arizona? Ah, uh, Tonto, pretty sure. I'm never here to locate the killer in this way, but I'm willing to try anything if it'll bring the guilty man into the open. You see, pretty soon. Hey, Sheriff, reckon that must be the tree over yonder, ain't it? That right, Sam. Uh... I'm telling you, Sheriff, that critter must have been loco. Say we find any clues there? Now we'll see about that, Sam. Uh, just a waste of time, that's all. All this riding for nothing. You ain't afeard of being found guilty, are you, Sam? Why should I be afeared? I don't know. We're both at the tree, Sheriff. I got eyes, man. Arizona says there was hoof marks there. Yeah, that's what he said. Well, the ground will have to be a heap softer than it is to show any hoof prints. Maybe it is. It don't look so. We'll see you in just a couple of seconds. Uh, Sheriff, is it the place? Yeah, here we are. Whoa. 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 Don't spoil the tracks around here, fellas. Yeah, yeah, don't see no clues. No clue here. What's that, Redskin? You not find clue here. We won't? No. There no hoof print here. Then why in tarnation was we brought here? Me tell you. Well, go on. Dog a hunter, see killer. What about it? Dog plenty smart. Him think Arizona dead now. What's that to do with it? You look yonder, near stage trail. Well, there's the masked man. There's the white horse. He's got that hunting dog with him. What's the big idea, anyhow? Dog know who killed Banker. Dog think same feller kill Arizona. What about it? Dog come now. Him get killer. Him plenty bad dog, and him kill. Now, hold on. You can't let that dog come with a pack of men like this. You can't. The, the dog can't tell who the killer is. Him, no. You mean to say that's the reason we was all sent here? Uh. So the dog could get the scent of the killer from near the stage trail, then come here and pick that critter out in our group? Is that it? That's right. Well, maybe the dog will make a mistake. I don't see no sense in leaving it to a dog's judgment. Now, hold on, Let's Jens. go get that mask, fella. He shot Arizona. Now, take it easy. Here come dog. He's heading straight for us. Sure, he can't do this. He'll toss up. Now, take it easy, Jens. Take it easy. I don't reckon the dog will get the wrong man. He's got the scent. That dog's a man killer. I'm going to shoot the critter. No, you ain't. Put that gun down. There ain't going to be no shots fired. I'm trusting to the judgment of that there dog. He's followed wolves all over this part of the country. Now he's going to track down a human wolf. By thunderation, if a dog can do that, I'll take my hat off to that masked man. The masked man killed Arizona. I'm beginning to have my doubts about that. Him not kill Arizona. Arizona not hurt. He ain't hurt at all? No. You find silver bullet and wall and jail. So that is why the masked man told me not to be surprised at anything that happened. I don't want to stay here and get shot up by that dog. Uh, oh. Maybe you're the killer. I ain't, I ain't. Don't let him get me. Hey, Wendy. Hey, what's the matter? Look, look at Wendy. Where's he gone? What's wrong with Wendy? He's 
heading for that tree. Hey there, Wimpy, come back here. He's trying to climb the tree. Don't let him get me. Now look at the dog. He's going right for the tree. He's big windy. Don't let that dog get me. Don't let him get me. Come on, Silver. There comes a masked man now. Dog wants feller in tree. What do you make of that, Jens? What do you make of it? The dog's picked Windy Hoagland as a killer of Banker Whipple. Let me down. Let me down with you. Get, get that dog. The dog is treat Windy Hogan. How about it, Windy? Do you want to confess, or are you going to stay up there until you starve? Don't let that dog get me. Don't let him get me. You're the one the dog's after, Windy. Confess, and we'll rope the dog so you can come down. I, I, I confess. I killed the banker. I don't let the dog get me. I killed the dog. I admit it. How about that, Sheriff? Is that confession enough? It certainly is. Windy Hogan, of all people. That child. And he had us all in a suspicion. Come on down now, Windy. The dog won't bother you. Quiet, boy. Quiet. Tie, tie the dog. Tie him up. The dog isn't after you, Windy. He's after the carcass of a wolf that we dragged across the ground and tied up in that tree. You'll see it hanging above your head. Well, I'll be doggone if this don't beat all. So it was the wolf the dog was after. Yes. You see, Sheriff, Arizona and I met on the stage trail. When Arizona told me how his dog would follow the track of a wolf, we decided to try a scheme to trap a human wolf. And you sure done that. We got the killer, Lone Ranger. And now if you want to take my keys, you can go and get your friend, the bounty hunter, out in jail. Here you are. Catch him. Yep. Arizona will be glad to hear that his plan worked. I owe Silver Hawaii! Come on there, Silver, old boy! We're heading for Pine Bluff! There's trouble at the Gold King Mine! I owe Silver Hawaii! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.